Hello, this is Dr. Liu again. So in this video, I want to show you just a comparison. And uh, this one is a USB interfaced uh, SDI 12 adapter. And as you can see, there's a mini USB connector here. And this one is a, a TTL only or the, the serial port only interfaced uh, SDI 12 adapter. You can see there's this missing pattern here where there's this, uh, this chip here. So if you flip on the bottom, this is the um, um, that uh, the serial port interface, and you can see here. Um, I'll just go ahead and take a little screwdriver here to point. So there's actually some uh, some uh, silk screen saying which pin does what, such as the leftmost pin says ground, and then there's also other pins five volt and such. So. Um, so this is what you get if you are interested in uh, working with, uh, well, interfacing this with an Arduino and other microcontrollers. And uh, they're they're actually these two are they're not exactly. Uh, you can't just go with a, a USB interface and and somehow turn this quickly into a, a serial port interface only. So what if you want both? Maybe you just want to explore. Uh, maybe uh, maybe try a PC or Raspberry Pi with a USB interface, and then maybe try an Arduino board with with this um, UART slash serial port interface. So can you can you have the best of both? So here's one way to have it. And um, by the way, this also comes with the uh, this uh, serial port interface board. So this is the uh, the connector the header here. So for Arduino, it's easy. You just connect all these pins, right? So uh, there are uh, there are six pins. One of the pins is a 3.3 volt output, and uh, you don't really need that unless you have a 3.3 volt uh, Arduino. So you basically just um, well carefully connect these headers. So one at a time. Make sure you're uh, you're reading the uh, the pin outs from the top side while you're connecting the uh, other end of these jumpers to your Arduino. So I'm just doing this one pin at a time slowly. And uh, the way I solder this header, the way that it, it's, it's 90 degrees this way is because there's on top, there's this extension header in case you use extension boards. I want you to have both and uh, that would require some uh, some tricky soldering uh, to be done, such as this, I would typically put a female header on these 90 degree male pins to make sure there's enough space to do what I'm doing right now to connect these female uh, jumper wire ends. Okay, so now you have this end, and if you want to refer to which pin does what, so you can see that uh, that is the uh, green side, that should be uh, about this side, and you can see there is a DT. DST, that's a reset pin. And then TX should go to your Arduino's RX. RX goes to TX. Unless you have a three volt Arduino, then you you can use this TX three volt to go to your Arduino's RX. So I just want to bring this closer. Just to point out there's a TX five volt. There's also a TX three volt. So if you have a three volt Arduino, that is the pin you want. And you don't want that pin to go to your Arduino's RX. And your Arduino TX can always go to this RX. It doesn't matter the voltage level, 3.05. This recognizes that signal. So this is basically how you connect to your Arduino. So what what if you want to switch over to a PC? And okay, so here, easy. Uh, you you take this off. Oh, that's all the work I did was putting them on. And I have this adapter here. This is from um, ModernDevice.com. So it's, it's just their particular flavor of uh, of the uh, FTDI uh, USB adapter. So the nice thing about this adapter is the pins are exactly lined up. So if you take this, remember everything faces against this adapter. If you just slide that together like this, what I did before I uh, do this is I trim this uh, with, with a flush cutter so they, they don't really stay in the way. And also I want to remember I want to put some um, uh, electric tape over here to protect the connection against any shorting. So I'll just put this piece of paper here as an indication I need some uh, insulation. And then I slide it in right here. 
and connect over here that goes to the PC. And if I want to switch it back, okay, I pull this out and I take this, probably I should uh, just tape all the six pins together to make it easy like a, like a connector, I can do that. Or maybe let's see if I have something. Okay, how about this here? I have a six pin stacking header. So if I painstakingly just do all these, I mean, it's probably gonna take a minute. Can't really get them all to go together. Okay. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay, looks like they're, that's going in. See, that's going in. You need to have to push it hard enough. Otherwise the connection isn't really well made. I'm just thinking about ways to easily switch back and forth. So that gives you a nice solid connector you can slide on and make sure the other side has the right connection, not backwards. So that would be one of the ways you can do it. And um, you can switch in between. Instead of thinking, oh, I have this USB adapter, how do I switch over to, to a uh, serial port only? Well, that involves something additional. It's, uh, it involves soldering pins and trying to do this 90 degree and having enough space. Plus there's also a little solder blob you have to do. And the removing the solder blob gives you the USB and putting the blob on gives you this. Which I think is probably still easier if you start with this. And just add this $15 adapter and um, then you have basically both interfaces, well only one active at a time, but it's a lot easier to switch over between uh, the USB and uh, the, uh, the TDL slash serial than starting with this adapter and trying to disable that, right? Hope this helps. Thanks.